Yes. Hello, folks. We are live. If you're watching on playback, please bear with us. We're going to give a few minutes for people to join us live. Welcome to our first solo holidays by Passion for Cruises broadcast year, where we are introducing hosted, dedicated solo land tours with an exciting partner as well. So I have to introduce everybody. So first of all, it's obviously clear who we're going to be working with. To my right, we have Polly from Just You. Hi, Polly. Hello. Hi, yeah, Pete. How you doing? All great. Welcome, Polly. And Thank you for having me. Pleasure. Underneath, of course, Binani, we have the wonderful Daryl from the Solo Holidays Forum, um, for, um, Passion for Cruises. Daryl, hi. Hi, Pete. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, you're going to be explaining about exactly what we are going to do. And, of course, that way, no, <laughs> it's, like the, it's like the Brady Bunch, isn't it? Yeah, the Brady Bunch. Yeah. <laughs> Here we have, yeah, Travels with Lucy Lou, one of our wonderful part of our media team. And we're going to be giving you the exciting news about who's going to be hosting some of these amazing land holidays. And if you have any questions, please ask us questions. We will get to them as soon as we can, but we've got so much to talk about. So first of all, Daryl, um, please explain about this exciting new project we're launching. No problem. But first of all, Pete, I need to address the elephant in the room, my hairstyle. Most of the customers I speak to, I speak to over the phone. Um, so apologies to all our customers who are seeing me live uh, for my hairstyle. So I'm really going to apologize to everybody for that because I had to take my daughter to football this morning. I had a hat on and then I've got home, had a shower, had a shave. And I know that Steve Phillip, who will criticize my hair and he'll pick folks it. So I'm going to just apologize to everybody, to the millions of you watching. Apologies, OK? I apologize as well, by the way. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Thanks for having my back there. But yeah, Peter, yeah. is um, first of all, thank you so much for having us on. Obviously, with the, the cruise team and yourselves and yeah. Lizzie doing so many great things and Ali as well, who's not on today, but give Ali a, a shout out, Chili. Um, all the great things you guys are, are doing at the moment from a cruise perspective. We wanted to try and replicate it from the holiday side of the business. Um, but what we wanted to do, we wanted to walk uh, before we could run. Um, so we wanted to do something similar, but we wanted to make sure it was right. And this is where it kind of really sits in well. So as all our customers know, all our members know, um, we have now become, um, and thanks to all their help, the number one travel agent in the UK dedicated to solos. And that is an amazing thing. And that's hard work to, to <laughs> people like our directors, um, the guys in the office that you don't necessarily talk to. They have worked so hard, obviously, during the pandemic. It was it was so difficult. But what we did, we built up a great, um, great following, um, a real loyal members base. And now we're like you say, the, the world's our oyster and everybody knows it's all about solo power. So with that in mind, us being the number one travel agent in the UK for solos there was no one better to team up with than uh, Just You Holidays um, and the great thing about Just You um, is they are the number one tour operator in the UK for solo holidays um, and in particular escorted touring um, and it brings me great pleasure to have um, not just someone I work with closely but a friend of mine as well Polly to come on today she's yeah. just gonna hold my hand a little bit in regards to promoting these amazing tours but yeah we've not just got one tour going live today we've got two and the great thing about these tours with just you they're going to be hosted so obviously yourself and Lizzie are going to be hosting them we're also going to have tour managers as well which obviously Polly will um, elaborate on uh more during uh during our conversation but yeah it's just it's 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 great pleasure to bring out two tours for our customers this summer somewhere in europe and actually what people have been asking for so we're bringing these together exclusive to our members and yeah and like i say you're going to learn a lot about the brand just you you're going to learn a lot about myself on this on this uh stream today and if there's any questions please guys just fire away that's and if we don't know the answers we can always go back and uh, find out and come back to you. So, yeah, please fire away. But thank you so much for having us on. So, Polly, just a couple of things. Um, 
could you be kind enough just to tell us about what makes Just You so good for solos, please? So, I mean, you said we're the number one um, solo company uh, in the UK market, and we are. We've been doing it for 20 years now. We've got a sister brand actually called um, Travelsphere. You may have heard of us, but um, that brand itself has been going for 60 years. So um, doing solo travel for 20 years, we'd like to think what we know we're doing when it comes to escorting or guided holidays for the solo market. We've got lots of different types of holidays and types of touring that we do. Um, what's great about our product as well is that there is no single supplement. Now, I know this is a huge bugbear for many solo travellers. Um, my mum is a solo traveller. She absolutely hates it when there's supplements whacked onto the cost of holidays, which make it really unaffordable. So we get it. We understand that, that is an issue. Um, so there's not a single supplement um, on our holidays that we offer. Um, for our customers um, and we do lots of different types of escorted holidays um, and we're focusing on two specific holidays with you guys I won't reveal yet we'll wait to we'll do that a bit later but we we go all over the world we do lots of different destinations we do the classic escorting where you move on from place to place we do the relax and discover um, and you're looked after and that's what's the beauty about a guided holiday is that you have a holiday director they look after you from the very beginning. Um, we've got hosts as well on, on these particular holidays um, with Pete and Lizzie, which we're really excited about. <laughs> so just to enhance that experience as well. But the holiday director really takes away the stress, the worry, particularly if you've never traveled on your own before. It's just a wonderful way to go on holiday independently. We have people from all walks of life people who perhaps never been on their own before, never navigated an airport before on their own. We have airport representatives to meet the customers. Um, you've got your holiday director there to, to take you if, you if you want to go out for lunch. The holiday director will be there for you. And likewise, on the other scale, you have that independent traveller who's confident. They've done it before, but they just like travelling with a group. They like to have some a drink with someone in the bar at the evening, or they like to have breakfast with someone. It's just about having someone around, part of a group, everyone's got the destination in common everyone's traveling for the same reason they're independent and it's just what makes it a fabulous holiday for this solo traveler yeah i think um something that polly mentioned there and um i've traveled with just you i've been fortunate to be a solo traveler on a just you holiday and the, the big thing that really came to life is how daunting the airport experience in the yeah. uk can be to customers and just having that uh, on the side and when I got to Heathrow and I was going to uh, on the Eastern Europe tour at the time Prague uh, Budapest and Vienna what was amazing is I had a luggage label on my hand luggage and the person stood next to me in the queue also had the same one on so basically we just got talking and even before we got on the aeroplane everybody had got talking and everybody was at ease with one another before we'd even kind of got into our foreign destination so just those little things that just you do um just even at the start of your holiday just makes life that little bit easier it makes customers more confident and actually we all know because we talk about it every day how solo travel is so important but actually it's just that first step and just you do that little bit of hand holding but not too much yeah. And yeah. it just gives everybody a step in the right direction and gives them confidence to. And with uh, just you, one thing, Pete, and ourselves as well, we're uh, passion for cruises um, is our reten retention is everything. Um, and yeah. that is why we have got yeah. such good retention. That's why they've got, because like you say, it's just that attention to detail for, for our customers and for our solo guests. Absolutely. And I, I must mention that we are rated excellent on Trustpilot as well. So you can see it from customers previous customers that have done it experienced it they love our brands they love what we do and they come back time and time again so let's let's hope after our trip that will happen incredible so we have coming up two wonderful tours yeah two wonderful tours one that lizzie is going to host and one that i'm going to host in addition to the guides that are there as well and um so what we do is we've got a couple of questions. I'll go for the questions in between the tours. The first tour, Daryl, to talk us through, basically, is the highlights of Tuscany. This is the yep. highlights of Tuscany. I've taken some great photos from the Just You website, by the way, just to let you know, Polly, on that Lovely. one. Yeah. This is an overview of the tour. 
that I have. Just so that yeah. you, can, you can, do you want to go through that, please? Sir? Yeah. So um, I'll just I'll tell you a little bit about what's going on, and then Polly will tell you a little bit about the area because Polly's been fortunate enough to go on this trip. I've been to to Tuscany myself, and anybody who hasn't been, it is you can see why it's called the highlights because you you are definitely going to the the best parts of that particular area of Italy. But so we're launching the highlights of Tuscany tour. That's going to be departing on the 9th of October. 2023 there's going to be um gatwick and manchester flights available okay um it's a seven night escorted tour um and what's great about this particular one and like i say polly can elaborate a little bit further is it's one hotel throughout your stay so you're not getting up at six in the morning checking out to go to another hotel it is kind of as this tour is is relaxed as you want it to be so it kind of works in your favor so you can see kind of day six day seven is it is it leisure so like i say you can make it as adventurous as you want or as relaxed as you want okay so that's brilliant what your holiday includes is a holiday director specialist local guides and Polly alluded to it earlier, which was huge. The, the holiday director is um, such a massive benefit. Obviously, you guys hosting, that's another yes. benefit. But the specialist local guides for me make these holidays yeah. as well. So these are the guys who kind of live in the area. They'll be taking the, the groups around and giving that in-depth knowledge of all these destinations. So they're worth their weight in gold as well. So you really, really are looked after. Um, and like I say, if you're one of these people, when you go to these countries, you want to see more of it, you want to learn about it, the culture, everything, then these specialist uh, local guides really help. So Obviously, you the deal? You uh, yeah, deal? you crack on, you crack on, please. Right, here we go. Don't talk us through the deal, please, Dale. Yeah, so as we said, um, departing the 9th of October, it's um, Gatwick, and excuse the Heathrow um, flights from Heathrow and Manchester. It's a massive typo. You're probably used to my typos on Facebook now, so I do apologise, <laughs> okay? It's Gatwick and Manchester on this one, okay? So that's really, really important. Um, with this particular tour as well, um, like you say, you are going to get some meals included. So let me just get this up because I've got all the information here. I'm just um, clicked out of something and now I'm looking really unprofessional. So let me get it up here, Peter. Yeah. Well, I can so, show, yep. oh, so, yeah. So you're getting 12 meals, um, seven breakfasts, one lunch and four dinners. And what's great, you'll get the included welcome drink and farewell get together. You'll get other uh, overseas transports, all transportation um, and porterage throughout and then complimentary Wi-Fi on board the coach. So like I said, that's what you're getting with ourselves. You're getting some in, uh, incredible highlights with your, your feature. And that hotel there is where you'll be staying um, throughout your stay. So Polly, can you just talk us through a little bit about this tour? Because as, as we uh, uh, mentioned, you've done this one before. Yeah, I have. And it has it has changed. I did it a few years ago now, but I'm just kind of, um, yeah, picking up. Tuscany is just a fabulous destination to go to. You can see I am literally in Tuscany right now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Yeah, I'm in the um, Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, I know. Fabulous. I'm um, it's, I mean, what's great about this particular tour is that you spend seven nights in one location. Um, it's called our Relax and Discover Tour. So you actually go from place to place, uh, you've got your central base. And and what's great about all of our Just You holidays is that we have centrally located hotels. So there are places around where you can find a restaurant for lunch or because not all the, the meals are included. There's lots of opportunity for you to go out and explore and try some local cuisine and um, get to know the locals. That's what's great about it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's very flexible. But again, if you're, oh, I, I don't know where to go. I'm, I don't know what to do. I don't. The holiday directors are brilliant. They are absolutely fabulous. And they will say, do you know what? There's an amazing little pizzeria down there. It's really great value. They know all the ins and outs of these destinations. They know all the little kind of off the beaten track tips and uh, and hacks and things to do that no that you wouldn't know if you were to go to these destinations uh, on your own. Um, and an example of that actually is when we're in Florence. Uh, so Florence is just stunning. Um, so we had our, our, our holiday director was actually um, Italian. So she knew the area. She was brilliant. She actually lived in Rome. Um, but when we went to Florence, we had a, um, a local guide who did us a fabulous walking tour. It was just wonderful. 
And, uh, and they said, right, if you want to go and, um, go and see the best views in Florence, you need to go to this. There's a shopping centre right in the middle. It's really tall. It's really high up. But you actually don't have to pay to get up there. Most places you have to pay to get up high. You have to, there's cafes up on rooftops and you have to spend 14 euros for a coffee. Actually says you don't even need to pay for a coffee. You just go up there and you can get the best pictures in the whole of Florence. So without that knowledge from our holiday director, we would have not known to do that. And she was absolutely right. It was fabulous. Um, so lots of little tips and hints um, from your holiday director. The hotel, I've not stayed in, I didn't stay in that particular hotel, but it's actually a better hotel than um, the one that I stayed in. So we didn't have a swimming pool. So this is fabulous. And I think that's why it is a four star hotel. Um, it's a family run hotel. And we try to use family run hotels and um, particularly in Europe um, where, where we're just kind of giving back to local business and local community and for us it's all about sustainability and supporting these these local businesses as well um lots i mean there's there's lots of things to see but there's also lots of downtime as well and relaxation so if you do want to just sit and have a read a book by the pool absolutely you can do that there's that option as well Brilliant. i've got i've got a, i've got the day the um schedule as well which i can Let's show um yeah. daryl and polly um so day one if you want to talk us through that is where we're flying yeah so that's really straightforward day one you're you're you're, you're met um once you arrive into pisa airport you'll be met by the the just you tour manager um and then you'll you'll meet the other guests if you haven't met them already and you'll be taken to your hotel um and the great thing about that on the the first evening is the uh, the get togethers are really really well hosted um they're a brilliant icebreaker for all our solos so you can go around and talk to other people and what's what i love about that particularly uh, in my situation when i went with just you i met people from all walks of life um and that was what was great so within two hours i'd met these great people but also what i'd, I'd done is i'd got to know friends already people that i'd never met but they became friends instantly just because we had so much in common and like all of us, we've all got one massive thing in common is traveling. And that's what's great about just you customers. Everybody you speak to has got a great travel story. Brilliant. Yeah. And I think so. that's, I must mention that about solo travel as well. People always think, oh, is it, is it single ready to mingle? Absolutely not. You get people from all walks of life, perhaps people that don't want to travel with their partner. They, their partner can't travel. Um, they've got different interests. They don't like their partner. I don't know, maybe. And they just <laughs> they just want to go on holiday. And and this is a great opportunity. Um, everyone gets their own room. Everyone gets a twin or a double at sole occupancy. We do not put people in a pokey little single room at the back of the hotel with a view of the bins. Everyone gets a lovely twin or a double at sole occupancy as well, which I just wanted to mention. It's so true. Solo does not no does not necessarily mean single at all. It no. absolutely correct. And of course, on on that first night, that first party, Lizzie is going to be there hosting <laughs> as well. Amazing. Lizzie, yeah. how exciting for you uh, on that one? I know. I'm so excited about this launch of solo hosted holidays. I think it's going to be amazing. And then as a host. Um, a host's responsibility is to not let a solo be alone unless they want to be. Yeah. So this is very exciting. Yeah. We're just there to enjoy with you as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go through. Stop me if I'm going too quick, by the way. <laughs> and, and Polly, yeah, have, have you got any questions? So, so day two, day two, I'm just going to take off the banner on that so we can see that. The Daily Tuscan Farmhouse Experience. That's on day two. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Who wouldn't want to sample four different wines on that day, by the way? But <laughs> <laughs> if you just say he doesn't want to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we want, we want to talk us through day two, please. Yeah. Well, I, I can because I literally did this in, in the tour that, that we did. And it was, again, it was something that I just wouldn't have done if I was to go to this destination. So you went to this, this local farmhouse. It was, um, there were three generations that lived there. Um, very typically Italy, very traditional. You had um, a tour of their vineyards. You had a tour of their olive groves. We, we went back and we sampled the fabulous wines. Um, we had olive oil uh, sampling as well. And then we had a delicious um, 
meal that was cooked for us, this four course di uh, dinner that was cooked for us. And what was a really fabulous touch, and I don't know if they know English now, but when we went out there, the family, not one of them spoke a word of English. Um, but it was really authentic and just wonderful. And it was almost like you were part of the family. You were welcoming, welcomed into the home of a traditional Tuscan farmhouse and how they do things. And you can imagine pretty much every night, I mean, it's there's food everywhere. There's the mama of the house walking around with just making sure everyone's okay and putting more food on your, I mean, no one was hungry. Everyone oh, had wow. a, a good amount of wine and we were thoroughly, thoroughly spoiled. But again, it was just a lovely little insight into uh, yeah, the, the, the Tuscan Fabulous. dining. And, yeah. and day three, we go to Florence. Yeah. Day three in Florence. Wow. And just before Polly talks about her experience in Florence, what I love about the Italian cities, and I need to mention this because I mention this all the time and I've been saying this for years. There's no better than a people watching in an Italian city. You pull up at a cafe, you sit outside and all you do, you put on your sunglasses and you just watch the world go by. And there is not... <laughs> A better wow. country in the world to do it because in the uk no disrespect we're not the best at smoking okay we don't make smoking look cool the italians will be doing their shopping they'll be walking they'll be drinking coffee they'll be smoking and they just look so elegant they're so well dressed so yeah so when you do go to florence pisa all these great cities my top top tip if you get anything out of this is make sure you take some time to people watch because italy is by far the best country in the world to just sit there, watch the world go by, and people watch. Wow. And here we have, that's what's going to happen in Florence, Polly. Yeah, absolutely. And we did that. We absolutely did that. So you've got your um, your walking tour um, included on this one. Um, it's obviously the home of Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. It's just a picturesque, beautiful, beautiful town. And what we did with the coach, we actually drove on our way out and drove out, and we had the opportunity to get the picture of um, this beautiful, beautiful city. And it's the art city as well. And like Daryl said, you, I mean, you, you'll have your walking tour, you get to know where everything is, and then you have time in the afternoon. I think it's, it might be the other way around, but you have time just to sit and watch and just yes. admire and have a gelato, like just get involved with the locals. That's what it's all about. And you will have fellow people to do that with. You'll have people on your trip to go and experience. And what's What's great is that I'm going off on one now because I just love it. I absolutely <laughs> love it. Um, is that it's it like tell, taking selfies. It just I hate taking selfies. It just really. What's great is you can go. Oh, can you take a photo for me of me in the moment, experiencing experiencing this? You just can't do that if you go to these places on your own. You're with a, a group of like-minded people and some great hosts as well. I can see Lizzie smiling away, thinking I cannot <laughs> yeah. wait to go there. But you know what? I was I was laughing now because I remembered when I was in Florence 25 years ago, I had gelato for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And oh. I was backpacking by myself. Um, and it was so nice. Okay. When you're solo, you can eat and do whatever you like. So that's yeah. one thing I remember. Well, you got in your five a day, Lizzie, didn't you? Because you probably had strawberry, banana. <laughs> so yes. actually, oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, I bet. I bet you did. Yeah. <laughs> Testing the wine. So day four, this wonderful day four. Again, I'm just going to go down, take the banner off so you can see that. Yeah. yeah, so talk, talk uh, us about day four, please. Yeah, so Montecatini Terme. I actually was fortunate to um, stay there. Um, uh, just literally, when I was working for a, a previous tour operator, I literally got off my honeymoon, um, said goodbye to my wife, and I had to take a, a load of travel agents over to um, Tuscany. Pisa and Montecatini Terme. So I've actually stayed there. And what a fabulous place that is. They've got all these kind of natural spas. So if you just want a day of complete R&R, &R, that is a great place to visit. Yeah, that, I'm doing that. If anyone wants to come with you, me, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so so and that's where you'll be Luca, staying to. Polly? Uh, so Luca, yeah, it's just a very historic town. Again, it's just in the rolling hills of Tuscany. Uh, nestled in there and just I um, um, and why we put optional excursions because some people have already been to these places and we, we generally get lots of feedback and we kind of try and tweak our tours to make them as inclusive or as relaxed as we think the customer would enjoy so some of them are optional and there, there's some great 
great prices on uh, on the uh, optional excursions there. I don't know. Yeah, the optional yeah. excursions forty six pounds. So you can uh, you can book at the yeah. time of booking when you uh, you phone through to us. But if you want to have a think about it, then there's absolutely no rush. You can always let us know at a later date. So it's not a problem. You don't I have to. There's no second. pressure. Yeah, there's no pressure on that. So just so the guys know, Pete, okay? Yeah, absolutely. And day five, Pisa. Yeah, so what a cool city Pisa is. Um, just from my experience, and yet again, what I liked about Pisa, yes, you go and get your iconic Instagram photo outside the Leaning Tower of Pisa and pretend you're, you're pointing to the top or whatever you do. But yeah. what's really cool, once you kind of, you've gone around that particular area, the actual town itself is really easy to walk around. Um, and if anybody is into a bit of retail therapy, Pisa is probably the best city to do it on this tour because you've got your Zara's, your H&M's, all your kind of um, all your famous retail brands. But also you can chuck in a few things like do a, uh, Chanel and all the, the famous brands as well. So it's a, a really Lizzie cool city again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, uh, yeah. So really yet again, your Louis Vuitton. So it's just yeah. a great mixture um within a city and obviously getting to see the iconic uh leaning tower of pisa yeah mm. anything to add polly i mean uh, everything that he said yeah absolutely the, the thing that i was quite surprised about pisa is the actual area like you say when you go and get the whole shot like that with the leaning tower that kind of area is quite small and it's such a small part of it but there's so much more to explore and again that's the beauty of having your holiday director because they'll say Oh, if you want this, this is where you go. Or I'm going to go there. Why don't you come and come and have a lunch with me? Or yeah, it's there's the flexibility there. But Fantastic. it's yeah, it's a great city. Now day six, we're getting close to the end of it. On <laughs> and day six, <clears throat> let's we go to my that and take that off so you can so see. So that's your day. That's one of your days where you'll be going out with Lizzie for your your R and R for sure. <laughs> Yeah, but it is. I just suddenly thought it's like October going to Pisa as well. It's going to be less busy because it is out of season and wonderful weather really, probably really as well. Good. Yeah, and I think that's um, really important to mention. And for the guys who don't know, I'm from my 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 grandmother was um, Italian, so I've spent a lot of time in Italy. And what I love about that particular area that you're going to is, it's Italians are famous for really not being the best of drivers or being the least patient um but that particular area it's a bit slower pace of life so the actual the roads aren't as busy you're not getting as many kind of um horns um who are unhappy with the coach in front with a tour group so it's, it's a, when you're traveling around and especially like you say because you're going in october it's that it's it is a pleasant place to visit and one of my favorite things about um going on these escorted tour holidays is sometimes people look at it and they go oh my god i'm going to be in a coach actually there's nothing nicer being in a place like tuscany traveling around on a coach and just looking out the window and like look at polly's background you imagine just looking out yeah. for an hour at scenery like that i mean that says it all to me so yeah i think uh when you look at it i'm getting quite excited in fact lizzie i'm getting more jealous and excited <laughs> that you're going and i'm not <laughs> uh, you can do, you can do the next one I'm doing oh no, thank you no no, very no, I've, 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 <laughs> no so day seven day seven let's just do that again so you can see yeah. what it says yeah so day seven um and i don't know if polly did this but i've been to uh i was lucky enough to go to siena and what yeah. a great place that is isn't it polly so i'll let you talk a little bit about oh. siena but if you want gelato lizzie go to siena that's what i promise you okay yeah i mean it's, it's stunning in fact i think this was my favorite place actually on the whole trip everywhere is stunning but and this was at the end and you didn't think it could get any better and it does and you've got the piazza del campo and this is where that amazing um paleo uh, horse race takes place and uh, it's just fast and, it's, and you have a nice like walk all the way around it's it's an optional excursion isn't it on this one yeah and yeah. it's i i absolutely say do it you must do it because they talk all about the history of it and where it come from and how it was built and it, it's just yeah really really wow. interesting but highly recommend it. And yes. what I don't want to show is obviously the day eight, oh. <laughs> which is the day we, we always, we know it's going to happen, don't we? But talking about the optional excursions, there are two optional excursions. Siena is one of the optional excursions that they can book if, yeah. they want, if you want to do it. And, yeah. and also um, 
the fortified town. Yeah, so both um, Siena and Luca prices, as I mentioned earlier, um, the Siena optional excursion seventy nine pounds. Um, yet again, that can be booked now or much nearer the time. It's entirely up to the customer. So one of the things we won't do and just you won't do, we won't put pressure on the customer to book the excursions. As long as they do it about six weeks before poly, something like that, then that's yeah. absolutely fine. Um, so, yeah, so you've got plenty of time to think, oh, am I going to have a day with Lizzie at the spa or am I going to do um, some of these optional excursions. So you've got plenty of time to discuss that. And obviously, you know, on our Facebook pages, we'll be setting up events for that. So customers can chat between themselves of what they're going to do on their um, kind of their optional free day. So, yeah, so really two really cool excursions. All can be pre-booked. And like I say, to be honest with you, it's only two excursions. The rest is all included. So actually, yeah. when you look at the, the when we go through the pricing and stuff, yeah. you're getting yeah, just so, so much. Again, obviously, yeah. Forget the Heathrow so, bit, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. So yeah. apologies again for my typo for anybody just joining. Like I say, it is Gatwick, it is Manchester, and um, yeah. So it's one four nine nine from London Gatwick um, and one five nine nine from Manchester. Um, great thing about this is a £200 deposit. So if anybody does phone in to book, then we would just take £200 today. And then the balance isn't due until 12 weeks before. So plenty wow. of time to um, save a few pennies and hopefully go on this amazing um, hosted escort tour with just you and, and our lovely Lizzie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a, couple of, a couple of people just, just going to show you very quickly. It says, hi. Hi, Irene. Hi, Irene. How are you so doing? If you okay. have any questions, please ask. And then yep. the lovely Daryl um, will be able we to answer, answer them. Yeah, them. absolutely. Yeah. And Polly, of course. Yeah. yeah. Not me, of course. But yeah. Hi, guys. Looks amazing. A fantastic addition to hosted land and cruise holiday opportunities for solos. It really is. Yeah. Oh, okay. You got two for the price of one, really, haven't you? You know, yeah. which is incredible. And as you know, we're doing our hosted cruises, which are going down so well. I am on the World Europa next week in Dubai oh my with goodness. a wonderful group. Yeah. I cannot wait for that. And the land holidays just look incredible. So that's the first one. Now we have our second one, which I'm going to be hosting. And talk us through this one, please. The yes. Treasures of Andalusia. So uh, another top selling tour with, with just you. Um, a real popular one with our guests as well. So most of my or our bookings, it will go towards Polly. I'd probably say that 50% are booked on this particular tour. So yeah. it was a no-brainer for me to go to Polly and me and Polly discuss it and uh, kind of our line managers and say, look, we need to put this tour on, make it a hosted one. So you can just see there you're, what you're doing. Loads of us have been to Spain, but have we really been to real Spain? That's what we've got to kind of ask ourselves. This is real Spain. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's so exciting. I cannot wait. I, I lived five years in Gran Canaria, in Puerto Rico in Gran Canaria. In my younger days, running fun pubs, that was not real Spain. I have to remember. <laughs> so I cannot wait. And this is the deal. This is the deal, the prices. Yeah. Yeah, so yet again, um, you got, you're departing actually just a tad earlier than the one going to Tuscany. So if anybody wants to do both, by all means, get in touch. Because um, like you say, it'll be you'll be able to come back, do a bit of washing and then go again. But yeah, some great offers. And what's big about this one for us is obviously we know one of the biggest bugbears for our customers um, is regional airports. We'd love to do every single airport in the uk if we could and we would if we could we would i can assure you that and just you were the same so we've worked together and we've given you a great range of airports kind of to get people from all over the uk on this particular wow. trip so you can all go away and uh be kind of hosted by our lovely pete yeah i will be there i will be there waiting for you <laughs> at the hotel so, yeah, so this one, just to kind of tell you a little bit more, Pete, before we kind of look into yep, the itinerary, is so yet again, a holiday director and a specialist local guide. So for anybody just joining halfway through, Polly, do you want to just go through the holiday director and local guides for us again? Yeah, so, so anybody yeah, coming on now. The holiday director is um, a, an addition to your hosts, the Brucey bonus of having a host as well. So Pete's on this particular tour. And what they do, they basically take away the worry and the stress 
of uh, organizing a holiday, thinking about um, what to do at the airport, thinking about, oh, what excursion should I go on? It's all taken care of and they can do that for you. Um, and, but you've also got those local guides. So these are the people that love to bring the destination to life. So when you're experiencing an excursion, you'll have a local guide that will just love bringing these places to life and uh, just really getting under the skin of the destination. So they're the absolute experts of these destinations. Fantastic. And it's one hotel as well, Daryl. Yeah, again, one hotel. And this hotel um, where it is in Mijas is absolutely beautiful. So you're kind of overlooking the bay. Um, it's quite popular with solo guests um, who've booked it through ourselves. And like I say, and one of the reasons they continue to book um, just you and this particular tour. And we had, this tour has quite a few repeats. And it's because of that hotel and where it's uh, where it's situated. So you're getting seven nights. And the great thing about this tour, and I must highlight this, this is half board. So you're getting breakfast and evening meals throughout your stay in this particular tour. OK, you're getting a guaranteed twin or double of your own uh, double room of your own. So that's really, really cool. So as Polly mentioned early on, they, like you say, you're not going to be put in the single room in the basement or at the back overlooking kind of the bins and the skips. You have got a, a guaranteed twin or double. That's room where you'll your find own. me, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, you're in the hostel down the road. Team. We oh. just haven't told you that. No, no, no. You're definitely, definitely in there. And that's that's brilliant. And yet again, overseas transport uh, transfers. Uh, transportation and porterage and that's a big thing and we didn't yeah. really highlight it earlier porterage as well so what that means once you get off the bus after a long day if you are doing sightseeing and you're a bit tired um on, sorry on the first day after all that traveling our guys will take the buses uh the the luggage off the coach and take it to your rooms so it's little wow. things like that that these guys will do for you yeah. just to take Sweet. away the added kind of um any strains that you've had from traveling all day Wow. Shall I go through the itinerary? Yes, please. We go through. So day one is we are flying into Malaga. So yet again, um, great thing about this, it's quite a short flight from the UK. Um, and then on the first day, hopefully um, in you, the airports you, you choose to fly from, there'll be other just you guests. Yep. Don't forget those luggage labels. They're really important. And don't forget our bands as well. I haven't got one on. I don't know if Pete or Lizzie have got one on, but um, our famous bands um you can identify you yep. can ad our blue identify bands, yeah. yeah our blue bands you can identify other solo passengers so straight away before you even got on the plane you can start chatting and then like you say you're taken over to to yeah. malaga you'll be met by just you represent it a re representation um and the great thing is with them they'll take you to your hotel and that's where you'll get together in the evening and yet again meet look like forward to hosting the first drinks yeah Can't yeah exactly wait. and the first exactly. dinner that's oh, going to be, be brilliant. so exciting and right day two let's take the banner let's take the banner off for a moment so it's easier to do that day two malaga yeah. Yeah, so um, just um, a couple of things from Malaga. So it is, uh, it's famous for, um, as it says there, famous for the birthplace of the artist uh, Picasso. So you imagine there, 3,000 years of history. And everybody who tells me, and I haven't been, so I can't sit here and kind of um, sell it to you because I haven't been, but everybody who tells me says what a fabulous city it is. And uh, I believe it's split in the middle somewhere. I'm not sure how the the logistics work but yeah there's something really famous about the particular city so yeah i imagine from a real kind of spanish um experience this is a great great start and what's great is i'm going to experience it with everybody i'm going to discover it with everybody so i'm just going to be just as excited <laughs> as everyone <laughs> you know it's, it's fantastic polly any anything yeah. to add to that i mean it's I've, i personally have not been here as i said but i it just looks absolutely fabulous i think this is where you'll get the traditional Spanish tapas. You'll get you'll get to if you want to go and see a flamenco dance, the, the holiday director will point you in the right direction. They'll really kind of enable you to get under the skin of the destination. When we do excursions going here, I just it just looks absolutely wonderful. Fantastic. And day two is Ronda. Look at that. Stunning. Ronda. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny because I live in the Ronda Cun and Taff in South Wales and it definitely doesn't look like that and it definitely doesn't have that um, blue sky. But yeah, I mean, that, sure? that picture is iconic in itself. So yet again, another one for our customers to go and get their 
get their Facebook kind of or Instagram profile picture. Um, so yeah, another great place to go. Another traditional, <laughs> um, another traditional Spanish um, town where you'll get that authentic experience. And um, yeah, from our side, it's like I say, from just you customers, that trip always gets so much great feedback. So yeah, by day two, you would you would just Fabulous. be rocking and rolling. You'd be having such a good time. Anything to add, Polly? This is not Al Alhambra Palace, is it? That's later on in the trip. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Just going to say, yeah, it, it, as you said, it's just another excursion that's um, that's just going to bring the destination to life. It's going to enhance right. it. And yeah, absolutely. And you get, it's yeah. half board as well. So an opportunity to, to go off and maybe experience some local cuisine, some paella. we we'll um, definitely do and, that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Fantastic. And day four. Yeah, so this is where you have kind of at leisure um, and where you'll be staying at the charming hotel. So what's great about this hotel is it includes, obviously, granted your restaurant, but you're getting a sun terrace. Pete, if you want a game of tennis or you want to go to the health and beauty club, you can do that. They've got saunas, swimming well, pools. Um, I did a so lot yeah. of beauty, but I do play tennis. Everybody really wants to give me a go. Well, there I've you go. For a number of years, but I can play. But you know, so, so if anybody wants to give challenge me to a game of tennis, so I'll give so you. So there's a, go. a world exclusive there right there. Pete yeah. will come out of retirement to give yeah. you a game of tennis if you come to Spain with him. Yeah. <laughs> I want to <laughs> we will we'll, we'll make the challenge. There's, there's probably going to be a, a tennis professional there now, isn't there? You can just guarantee it, yeah? Make me run around, yeah? I want a live yeah. feed from the tennis court when you're out there, please. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be quite as running around as I used to, but I'll give it a go, basically. That sounds incredible. And day five. Day five. Yeah. So day five, you're getting two um, towns for the price of one. I'm not going to insult our customers with with me trying to pronounce the first part with with my Normally. somerset accent um yeah, but what yeah. you are yeah so what you are getting you're getting two places for the price of one and it's 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 brilliant because what you'll do you'll have a nice kind of you have a nice breakfast in the morning you'll go off you'll go and visit to how do you say it polly excuse me <laughs> put you on the spot like that sorry Frigliana. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so you'll but go yeah. to the hilltop village um, in the morning and you'll just go around. You'll have your included excursion, um, obviously, uh, kind of sample all those authentic experiences we keep keep mentioning. But then in the afternoon, you, you go across to Nurha, which is famous for its sandy beaches and hidden coves. And what was once a kind of a sleepy fishing village is now a very popular tourist town. So, yeah, so you'll get to, to experience yeah. that. So, Sounds I think wonderful. What's, what's particularly great about this this holiday and this um, this guided holiday is that it's really relaxed. You can take it at your own pace. Um, you don't have to rush around. If there's a part of the, if you're taking on excursion, you just want to sit and sit and go for a coffee. That's absolutely fine. Um, and that's what's great about these holidays is the, the flexibility of them. And it's your holiday just as much as it's everyone else's. And and if it's if it's too much, if there's if you just want to go and sit by the beach and uh, relax and grab a cocktail or a sangria, yeah. you can absolutely do that, and that's what's delightful yeah. about these holidays. Dip in and dip out as much as you want to. Absolutely. Whatever we do, you know, you know that's that's the beauty about it. Day uh, day six, and that and that's okay. like obviously what um, Polly was just mentioning there, Pete. And I think that's really important to stress that all of us when we go on holiday like to do different things we're not all the same yeah. so those leisurely moments um are not to be taken for granted so if you do want a day of relax complete relaxation and you want to just kind of um go away and do do a bit of kind of spend some time on yourself you don't have to be with the group every yeah. single minute of every day and i think that's probably you've seen that on your hosted cruises yeah. that's no different on these just you holidays so don't feel that you have to be everywhere all the time the great thing yeah. is you can have some relaxation so you can have your own holiday as well. You can. Yeah. And yes. and the sad the sad day is when you get to day seven, you know, when you're yeah. getting to the to the end of of the holiday. Yeah, but then day seven, you think you've spent um nearly well, you're coming up to your seventh day of meeting new friends. Um you would have visited so many great places. You if you wanna do I think you can um 
you can literally go down to the beach and go to the bar, you can go to the restaurants, but you'd think you've gained maybe possibly 34 new friends, yeah. um, like-minded travelers, and you can 35. spend a nice day. Yeah, yeah, 35, including yourself, obviously. Um, but yeah, literally from our side, what a what a great day to, oh, yeah. a great way to finish a holiday. Um, and you can kind of go at your own pace. Again. And That's what I loved fabulous. as well, what I looked at as well, I, this is a place I've never been to, there were two excursions that you can do additionally as that as well, um, Daryl and Polly, yeah? And I yeah. looked at both of them and I'm like, wow, oh my. Um, first of all, if you recognize the rock, yeah? Yeah. Gibraltar, so, yeah. the rock of Gibraltar. Please yes. tell us about this additional excursion that we can do as well. So this excursion is an all-day excursion. It's uh, it costs ninety-five pounds, but yeah, you're going to see the um, the famous rock. It's a great um, opportunity for alcohol, tobacco. Um, so if you need to pick up anything, any presents, and don't forget, it is the end of September, so we're getting close to Christmas. So if you need to get a few bits for friends at home or family, it might be a good time to get a little bit of shopping in. Um, obviously, you'll see um, some. You can go and see the monkeys over there as well. Amazing. But yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's one of those excursions that people look and go, oh, ninety-five pounds yeah. is a bit expensive. But I would say probably about seventy-five percent of everybody goes on that trip goes to Gibraltar for the day. Well, you so can count me on it. I'm experience. definitely going to book that one, hundred percent. Yeah, and looks, I think it's yeah, it's a, it's a place to tick off your list, isn't it? It's yeah. one of the. I've never been there. I must admit. Um, but if I was doing this tour, I would definitely um, 100% jump uh, on because I think it's like I say, it's another place to tick off your list that you've and been And the there. photograph with the monkeys as well. <laughs> I've seen that <laughs> photograph with the monkeys. I'm yeah. thinking, wish me luck. I'm well, to <laughs> I just want to see a picture with you with a uh, Havana cigar because they're always really well priced over there. Sat uh, outside a coffee shop, Pete, that will just make the my... monkey on your shoulder. Yeah, monkey yeah on the on monkey shoulder, on your shoulder. Yeah, yeah. I literally yeah. make my... Uh, when I'm working in the office and I'm seeing you put up all these amazing posts and it's probably raining <laughs> in Wales, that will just that will yeah. definitely brighten up my day. You'll see the great photograph of being chased by all these monkeys, probably. That's what you're going <laughs> to yeah. see. Yeah. <laughs> is that excursion, is it... Um, are you walking up the rock? Because if you are, then someone has to take a video of Pete climbing. <laughs> I think you can go up if you want to. I don't think it's yeah. an organised trip to go up the rock, but if you yeah. want to, absolutely, the, the it, holiday director will point you in the right direction. It and... would depend if I've recovered from the tennis, wouldn't it? That would be the case. <laughs> if I've recovered from the tennis, yeah. and the second potential one you can do as well, this Yet is again. this is an incredible one. This in Granada, and they're talking about this as being known as the eighth wonder of the world. Incredible. Yeah, so I'll go back to that in a minute, but there we go. Please talk yeah. us through that. Yeah, so um what you mentioned, the eighth wonder of the world, the Alhambra Palace. Um, and yet again, cost of eighty two pounds if you wish to go and visit this, but yet again really really popular on the just you tour um so the the treasures of andalusia um yet again a great it's a great optional for the people who want to see real uh real spain and like you say you're, you're looking at something that's what is it is it over 800 years old or something like like that thousand years old thousand years old so there you go for any thousand. of our historians or our uh, history enthusiasts who want to go and see this this is definitely a one to one to visit when you're um on this particular trip yeah it looks it's... absolutely incredible it does and i think you can you can book both of them as well can't you i don't know if yeah. it's going to price, but you can book both discount. as well yeah the yeah the, the alhambra palace though, has to be booked more than 43 days before you go okay so that's really important just to highlight that to our customers yeah because we need to notify um them because obviously it gets booked up well in advance and just to go through exactly what the deal is again daryl please yeah yeah so as you said as we said it's um treasures of andalusia it's seven nights it is half four so that's breakfast and evening meal included in your price one four-star hotel throughout escorted seven nights so as we said we've got a host pete we've got yeah. a tour director and then we'll have uh, local specialist guides in these in these towns departing on the 21st of september um and like you say you've got gatwick you've got um excuse me off the top of my head because i have to remember now because i think it's gone down yeah I'm so we've got that way oh thank there, you, there you no, go. 
There you yes, go. Yes, we got Gatwick at 1499, which is our lead in Manchester, Bristol, Newcastle at 1599. And we managed, and Polly, to be fair to her, worked at absolute man uh, mm. magic to get the people in the East Midlands a flight as well. So 1649. Great choice. For people in the East Midlands. Okay, deposit again, £200. Really simple. Phone up, we'll take your deposit, and then the balance isn't due until 12 weeks before. So your balance isn't going to be due until about end of May, June time. So plenty of time to save up and hopefully come along, uh, come away with yourself or Lizzie on either trip. Or if, you, if you're feeling greedy, go on both. Right. A couple of questions. Uh, Brilliant. See what they are. See what we have. Done this one just for you. It's wonderful. Oh. Yeah, it really does. Hey, Hey, Dom. Go up the tower. View is great of Pisa. Hey, Dom, how you doing? Going to be cruising with Dom, too. <laughs> <laughs> Can the host advise on travel route that may be on sheer drop roads? Um, that I probably couldn't answer. And I don't know if you could, po uh, Polly, in regards to the, the when she says sheer drop. So that, that might I be something... Followed that... up. There is a bus. There is a bus sheer drop hairpin roads yeah. and Gibraltar. I was going to say Gibraltar is probably, um, Tuscany not so much, but, um, but definitely Gibraltar, I would imagine. I mean, we can find out that specific information. If you want to put your inquiry through, we can um, we yeah. can find out specifics. If there's something specific you want to know about the trip, we can absolutely, we've got amazing product um, product managers who know everything about these tools. So. Yeah, One of I our think, colleagues um, in America, Mr. Bucket List. That's going to be on your bucket list, isn't it? But just, this is um, a bucket list tour of all of them, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Just to follow up on what Polly was saying there regarding that. One of the things it does say on Just You, to be fair, with their trip to Gibraltar, we explore Gibraltar in comfort. So I can't imagine they're going to put their, their customers in any discomfort whatsoever because that's not what Just You do. <laughs> so, yeah, they actually highlight that in the uh, in the test. So yeah, and so just, and so how can they? How can they? Obviously, you're going to have everything posted on the group. Talk about the Facebook group, please, um, Daryl. Yeah, so our um, Facebook forum. Um, so we've got Solo Holiday Forum by Passion for Cruises. So that is the sister one to our Solo Cruise Forum, and that's where all our solo members go. I will be advertising both these offers first thing tomorrow morning. So what we will do, what me and Polly, yourself and Lizzie have just gone through. Um, I will actually put the full itineraries for everybody. So at, there will be no hidden charges on there. It'll be Everything will be on these posts so people can have a good read of the itinerary first thing tomorrow. And then, like you say, if, if they want to book, they can just pick up the phone. They can speak to me or any of the team. All the team will be and briefed and, yeah, job, ready to go. The job that Daryl is doing on the holiday side is just incredible. I know he didn't want me to show <laughs> this, but I'm going to anyway. Yeah, yeah? Look at this. Look at this, yeah. Agency of the Year in yeah. Wales. That is just absolutely wonderful. And not only that, um, a lot of people are looking forward to your debut on the YouTube channel, Daryl. We've been looking forward to it a lot, yeah. <laughs> you know, as, as Chili Cruises says about me, hey, you know, uh, Pete, you do, you don't know what you're doing really well, which is better, <laughs> sums me up. But Daryl, what a wonderful job that you have done. And there's a reason. Daryl is an award-winning <laughs> social media star. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. That is just incredible. But for, for, for myself as well, learning, like everyone else, all about this, just you. What a wonderful team to partner with. It's just the, the, the lead in, in, in the country. It's just absolutely so exciting. And this is the beginning yeah, this is the beginning. So please make sure you do subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Passion for Cruises and Holidays for Solos and the Facebook groups as well. Because, Daryl, you've got a lot more up your sleeve, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, uh, me, myself and Polly uh, were fortunate the other week to be up in London for um, an award ceremony and um, we actually caught up. So there's a lot of things that we've got in the pipeline um as i said at the very beginning we want to we want to walk before we can run but yeah the the world's are excuse the term but the world's our oyster at yeah. the moment as just you know as we know solo travel is is here to stay it is yeah. definitely the 
it's it's we're just forward thinking both companies are forward thinking and all we want to do is deliver um the best solo trips we possibly can if that's on land on sea etc etc we're just we're loving life at the moment pete we really are because our solo members are amazing we are yeah. really really fortunate it's all about the members it's all about your holiday it's all about your trip you know so excited of our wonderful hosts as well so lizzie um we've almost been talking for an hour so everybody yeah, I've been still, listening at every word because this is all so exciting. And these everyone destinations who's still here look watching. incredible. Thank yeah. you. Lizzie, thank you. Yeah, thank you. can I just say one last thing just from our side? Um, a massive thank you for Polly for coming on. Polly's got a busy yeah, life, like all of us, and to come yeah. in yeah. on a Sunday afternoon and uh, come and speak to us, it really, really appreciate it. And That's just like okay. say, we um their support at just you is is incredible and like i say from our side it's uh it's it's yeah. just so exciting pete isn't it it really really is cannot wait i mean lizzie and myself we just haven't stopped spawning the whole way through this is exciting yeah <laughs> Daryl, i can't wait to meet our fellow travelers as well i really count down the days Daryl, you've been an absolute star you've been an absolute natural polly thank you so much we are so privileged okay. to have you on the channel we really do yeah, a huge pleasure. thank you to chili cruises who's in the background making sure that everything went okay as our producer just in case anything didn't happen or i disappeared from it really grateful for you chili folks please i'm going to wrap it up now um don't disappear by the way polly daryl once i finish we'll still be here in the studio but we're finished broadcasting thank you everybody for hey. watching the first one daryl so sorry but can i just do something that i don't know if we've done before but i'm going to do it and i think we need to do it on all of these our telephone number for people who don't know is 02920 okay so if you do want to speak to us and i think we need to highlight this about our office the great thing about our office is always someone to speak to between the hours of nine till 5 30 monday to friday there's always someone to speak to guys so please please pick up that phone 02920 619 961 do apologize we didn't put that details in in the, in the um, ticker going down below we normally do but this is the first one that we've done and we had so much to organize <laughs> but those phone numbers obviously they are on our group so most people know who we who we are but if you are watching on youtube you do find it that's very important as well so we'll make sure we put those phone numbers in the comments as well for everybody to see so again thank you everybody who's watching and thank i cannot wait for our first tour, I really cannot. Yeah, it's the 21st of September. That's going to be absolutely incredible. Again, Lizzie, thank you so much. Polly, thank you so much. Daryl, as well. And everybody watching, we're going to end the broadcast. Thank you and Bye, see you everybody. hopefully on a holiday. Bye.